all mortals expectedly or unexpectedly demise. Let's say your loved one dies and leave you with personal properties, with maybe bank accounts, stock accounts, a pension fund, and uh, even a house. What do you do with that? How do you proceed to legalize that to you, to yourself? Well, if it's traditional family, you think it's not a big deal, nothing gonna happen. It's gonna go to the spouse or the children. But do you know that 26, only 26% in California live in traditional families? The rest of us live in same-sex families, the blended families, and a single parent. That raised a lot of questions. How do we proceed with somebody else's belongings? You know what actually happens? State takes a possession of it, and then they distribute according to their state law. So if you care who gets what after your departure, then you definitely should consider estate planning. Important to note, I'm a real estate broker in SoCal, and I'm here to educate you, not to give you legal advice. All advice you need, you should seek attorney. My purpose here, just to acknowledge you, what is out there, what you should do to ease life after your death, pretty much for your family and your loved ones. Because um, I've been dealing with a lot of real estate right now that in probate, and people who died, they leave property and they maybe have a will, you still have to go to probate. They might not have nothing and then it's gonna go to probate anyway and they get distributed by uh, California law. So I starting this episodes for next month and every week I'm committed to go over subject by subject. So we will talk about um, how to do this estate planning. We will talk about uh, will versus um, trust. What's the pros and cons of each? What do you need? Do you need will and you're going to be happy with that? Or you should have live in trust. What about gifts? And how much taxes you can save on gifts? Those topics and much more will be covered in the future episodes. But today, we will focus briefly on estate planning on its own. So estate planning usually entails three things. Who get what? How do they get it? And who will be in charge of that estate? So how do you plan? Just sit down, get a piece of paper, and start writing what do you owe. Start with your personal properties. Put down your what accounts you have, what other assets you have, what uh, kind of house you have. You pretty much make like an outline, and then you're going to put down who gets what? So now you have a homework to do. And this step is very important for our next step. And in our next episode, we're going to go over will and trust. And this is very two very important documents in estate planning. And you will figure out what do you really need? What should you have? Will or trust for your estate? What fits you the best? So if you like this video and you would like to be notified for about next episode, then please subscribe. And one more thing I want to mention is about our unique state, California. I want to mention about its population. 39.5 million Californians right now. It's the largest state in the U.S. And also, if California would be its own country, it would be the fifth largest country in the world with its GDP. U.S. is number one, China number two, and look at this, California is number five. It's actually a bigger economy than in the United Kingdom. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you found this helpful, and it might trigger you to start your estate, which is very important for your family. And I hope I see you in the next episode when we're going to talk about will versus trust. Thanks, take care.